Don't stop your anger or hurtful feeling. Just go through it and quickly. Yeah? With no resentment and heal it after. Anger, hurt, pain is a natural feeling of a physical element. Continue watching to find out more. Welcome to today's program. Proper emotion management makes us healthier. Emotions not only influence our quality of life, but also affect our physical and mental health. Positive feelings like happiness and satisfaction can stimulate our creativity and enhance our empathy, thus encouraging us to assist others. When encountering setbacks or pressure, we may have negative feelings such as anxiety and frustration, which impact our bodies by causing our blood pressure to rise as well as heartburn and other ailments to be experienced. As our body and mind are intertwined, having a good mood is of great help to our overall health. When we are full of bliss and confidence, the result is that our immune system is enhanced, blood pressure is reduced, our muscles are strengthened, and new cells form in our brain which can improve our memory. When we laugh, endorphins in our brain increase, which is very helpful for our sleep cycle. Feeling gratitude towards others enhances our vitality and friendliness, enabling us to build more harmonious interpersonal relationships with those around us. When we feel grateful, our anti-stress abilities are enhanced, along with our capability to adapt to challenges in life. We then tend to focus on more positive thinking patterns and follow a healthier lifestyle. Gratitude has several profound meanings. Perhaps we think it's happiness that makes us feel grateful, but actually it's the other way around. Only after we embrace a grateful attitude do we feel happy. When we sincerely express thankfulness, our brain releases the neurotransmitters dopamine and serotonin, which provide us with a sense of well-being, including feeling more loving and happy. We all have the power to forgive. Forgiveness represents love and peace and can help us mature emotionally, strengthen our courage, and make us more humble. Refusing to forgive means we remain in our past traumas, which continue to impact our body and mind. Negative feelings such as anxiety and depression can lead to high blood pressure and lower immunity, which jeopardizes our health. Forgiveness enables us to rid ourselves of negative feelings and regain freedom of mind. If we can forgive others, we also in turn forgive ourselves when we make mistakes. American psychologist and New York Times best-selling author Dr. Rick Hansen created the The Taking in the Good Course to help people replace their negative thoughts and emotions with positive ones. He states the people who completed the program, comprised of six three-hour classes, experienced significantly less anxiety and depression, and significantly greater self-control, savoring, compassion, love, contentment, joy, gratitude, self-esteem, self-compassion, satisfaction with life, and overall happiness. Here is an excerpt from his video called Tips for Taking in the Good that focuses on his approach to retraining one's brain to think in a constructive direction. But if I were to pick something else that I've really seen for people, makes a big difference for them from the inside out, is to look for those opportunities to feel truly cared about mm -hmm. by other beings. And feeling cared about for me is on a range. It includes five major components. Um, start with feeling included, mm -hmm. a sense of belonging, one that's legitimately available, or a sense of being seen, or at least someone's trying to understand you. Like I can watch you trying to understand me and what I'm saying here. Or third, feeling appreciated, feeling respected, feeling that you've actually contributed to others. Or feeling liked, or fifth, actually feeling loved. Mm 
and uh, it may seem uh, somehow not utterly self-reliant to open to feeling cared about, but I think for most people that's where their deepest wounding is and their greatest longings, mm -hmm. to feel more cared about by others. And also because we're the most social species on mm -hmm. the planet, it's actually uh, self-reliant to open to and reach for and take into yourself experiences of being really supported and cared about by others. Because then as you do that, you become more and more able to be independent and strong yourself, and thus fundamentally more self-reliant. Not managing our emotions well can be detrimental to our health and speed up the aging process. Cortisol, an anti-stress hormone, is secreted by the adrenal glands and an essential substance to regulate our system's stress response. Frequent fluctuations of emotion create chronic stress in the body, causing hormone imbalances, which in turn affects our mental state and makes us frustrated, easily irritated, and can even contribute to insomnia. Tension can harm our immune system, thus weakening our resistance to sickness and cause the shortening of telomeres, the protected repeated array of DNA at the end of our chromosomes. This stress-related telomeres shortening has been shown to be associated with serious chronic diseases such as heart disease and diabetes. The emergence of negative feelings can mean that some of our needs or sentiments are ignored. Expressing our repressed feelings allow us a chance to reflect on ourselves and remind us to examine things with a more positive attitude. We can seek support and advice to dissolve the dissatisfactions in our hearts. If we are feeling down, we can think of things that make us happy. The people that we'd like to thank or do something we like, such as listening to music, exercising, meditating, or practicing yoga, even just breathing a few times deeply, can make us feel relaxed and pacified emotionally. In a November 21, 1999 lecture given in Tel Aviv, Israel, Supreme Master Qinghai provided very clear and incisive insights on how to manage anger and hurt feelings. Don't stop your anger or hurtful feeling. Just go through it and quickly. Yeah, with no resentment and heal it after. Anger, hurt, pain is a natural feeling of a physical element. It's just you don't know how to handle anger. That is the problem, okay? If somebody hurt you, of course you feel hurt. You, you, you are not a, a wooden table. Hmm? And when people provoke you unreasonably, or you think that they provoke you, you're bound to be angry, and that is all right. But we must understand the nature of anger it's not very constructive most of the time. So if we have to be angry, get it over with. Don't try to suppress too much your anger. You'll be sick. You'll be crazy. It's a natural feeling. Don't carry it too long. You drown yourself in anger. It's no good for yourself and for the party involved. Get angry, talk. You, you don't have to be sarcastic or or hurtful when you talk, just air your view and tell them that you make, they make you angry because, because, because. And you wish that in the future it doesn't happen again because you will not go in to tolerate it again. Air your view, finished, and love each other again. That's what I think. Most of the time when we were young, we were taught that we should not show anger, we should not show hurt, and so we keep repressing it, thinking it's no good, no good, no good. But this is too natural within us, we cannot help it. So it, it's, uh, we just let it be. But we just know the anger, the quality, and the real face of anger, and we're in control of it. And don't let the anger be our master, that's all. We just know, okay, I'm angry because you hurt me. If somebody hit you, you feel pain, and that's natural. So just say it. Because sometimes also misunderstanding. You tell to the party and he has also a chance to explain, no, I didn't mean that way, I mean this way. And then it, either way it will be good. If the person doesn't mean that, 
then you don't, angry, don't feel angry anymore. And if the person really mean that bad, and after he heard that you hurt, you pain, you angry, he will change, he will understand, and it's good for both of you. Yes. Otherwise, we always say, you give me a headache, you, give, you are the pain in the neck, you are the pain in somewhere else, <laughs> etc., etc. It's true, it's true. Anger, suppress, can make you ill physically. So don't hurt yourself more by swallowing the poisonous anger within you, spit it out in a proper way. From our short time together, it is hoped you have gained some new and useful perspectives on regulating emotions. We wish that you always enjoy peace of mind and a positive outlook on life. Open-minded viewers, we are glad to have you with us today.